All right, there's Jamal Green rallying his supporters, not conceding. He only has 2% of the vote total. Cam Buckner also with 2%. He is conceding. Let's listen to him now. Every single place I went because it's such a part of me and why I did this. And to my partner in life, love and marriage, Bernadette. And our, <laughs> and our boys, Lucas and Cass, who have kept me oh, who have kept us grounded throughout this process. Thank you. Throughout this race, I've said that I didn't want to be mayor of Chicago, that I wanted to be mayor for Chicago. Yes. That's why 10 months ago, we released our first uh, the first of 11 uh, policy platform plans to provide concrete, cogent plans for the people of Chicago on education, economic recovery, fiscal responsibility, veterans affairs, mental health care, environmental justice, transportation, inclusion for Chicagoans with disabilities, city council reform, housing, a plan to grow to sh Chicago to 3 million people by 2030, and my Safer 77 plan, which lays out a comprehensive approach to real public safety in all of our communities. We, had, we led the pack on offering real solutions. And it's my fervent hope that the next mayor of Chicago will put politics aside and collaborate with our communities, City Council, Springfield, and Washington, D.C., to make Chicago work better than it ever has. And I stand ready to help them do that. Right. We can't keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. We need both new approaches to policing and dedicated violence prevention funding to coordinate across this city. We need a public transportation system that is clean, safe, and reliable. We need to build more affordable housing and reopen the shuttered mental health clinics. We need to invest in students and not undermine our neighborhood schools. We need city council reform so that a council can adequately serve the people of Chicago as a true legislative body that works with the mayor and not a rubber stamp that works for the mayor. And we need a fully fledged department of the environment, along with a commissioner to ensure the polluters don't continue to harm our communities. I spoke a lot about love in this campaign, and that's because this was a campaign about justice. And justice is what love looks like in public and on purpose. I said that this was not a political platform, but that it was a love letter from a little boy who grew up off of 103rd Street <laughs> to his yes. city. And I've said that I ran for mayor for the people of Chicago who love Chicago, but who just want Chicago to love them back. Mm -hmm. And I meant every single word of it. The great Chicago writer Nelson Algren once said in his book, City on the, city on the Take, when describing Chicago and how it permeates people's souls, that Chicago took your heart, leaving you loving the joint for keeps, yet knowing that it can never love you. But I choose to believe that Chicago does have the capacity and the ability to love. We just have to awaken that love through the right leadership. And this is not just a noble engagement. It's a necessary one for all of us throughout this city who need Chicago to be the best version of itself. Yeah. It's the hope of the single mother in Woodlawn the Vietnam vet in Bronzeville, the young parents in South Shore, and the divorcee in the South Loop. It's the desire of the family in Lincoln Park, the shop owner in Austin, the street vendor in Little Village, the young man from Inglewood who was incarcerated in Joliet, and the day laborer in South Chicago. It's who we are as a city. It's our Chicago covenant, present since our settling, and the Dusablian ideas that we are brave, bold, intrepid, and fearless and we bend towards equity, justice, and freedom. That's how you create a city where where you live does not determine if you live.